Well, um, we already have uh, our figures computed. Uh, we have our election project plan, and we gave copies uh, to the leadership of both uh, chambers of the National Assembly, uh, which they uh, looked into, and they asked uh, a few questions. And uh, we provided the answers. Uh, the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, uh, with the top officials of, of the commission. And uh, we are to reconvene to consider other details. And, and from, the, from all indications, uh, we are confident that um, the National Assembly will pass the budget. Is it true that the, uh, the INEC has uh, monies to run the commission and its activities up until October? Thank you, Shim. Um, you know, there are two issues. There is a normal INEC budget and there is an election budget. Of course, we have the normal budget that we use to carry out other activities. So we have money to run uh, uh, all, the, all the departments and carry out our activities. Uh, for the election budget, that is what uh, we want the National Assembly to pass, and we are confident that we are going to have this budget passed. Uh the budget, $242 billion, that's over a 100% uh, difference, uh, increase from 2015. What happened? Why that uh, big gap? Well, um, a number of issues, Shion. Uh, first of all, the number of political parties have increased, and, um, and, and, and there are other things that uh, we also need to put into consideration. Uh, the, the breakdown is actually before the National Assembly, and I will not want to double into, into the full details. Uh, I, I think that it is better for us to wait for the budget to be passed, and then we can have full disclosure of what is really contained, and Nigerians can have the information and, and the magnitude of what we are talking about. And of course, you know that uh, as an aside, uh, the number of uh, registered voters has increased. Uh, in 2015, for instance, we had close to uh, 70 million. But uh, since April uh, 27, uh, 2017, we have registered uh, about 11.4 million Nigerians. So you have to take that uh, factor into consideration as well. The commission chairman did talk about gray areas after that meeting. What are those gray areas that you refer to? Well, the gray areas are uh, those areas that will be discussed next week. Uh, you know, I don't want to put the, the cart before the horse, uh, because uh, if they are going to discuss these gray areas, and I'm here talking about those gray areas, then it will be like putting the cart before the horse. But next week is not a long time. Uh, Nigerians should have patience. We are going to uh, uh, disclose all these issues, and whatever questions are going to be asked, we will be ready to provide the answers. We might be talking about some other issues relating to the election in terms of participation, youth participation, and also the issues of the PVC collection and all the technical areas involving this election. Uh, Chioma is here on the program with us, and we're also being joined by an election expert. Uh, Abiodun Ajijola joins us. He's a national coordinator of election monitor. He joins us from uh, Akure. Thank you, uh, Mr. Ajijola. Uh, quickly, weighing on this one, what are your fears ahead of 2019 when we talk about the budget of INEC ahead of the crucial year? Yeah, well, uh, good evening. Thank you very much for, for having me. Um, I actually, I'm not, um, well, you know, um, we are just, as you said, just uh, about uh, just over six months away to the elections. I, I think um, having everything in order is very important. You know, we have 120,000 polling units in Nigeria. Um, we're probably going to have uh, uh, staff or, let me say, uh, personnel to be deployed, getting close to a million people. So this is a massive, massive uh, project, massive, massive uh, operation. And I think it's something that um, there needs to be, everything that can be done to make it a success needs to be done. Uh, and, and I also think that um, there shouldn't, I mean, if there's things that, for example, there are things that cannot be done 
um, a month to the election. So, so you can imagine if there are certain things that are required. Uh, maybe if we get those information back, the breakdown of the budget uh, for the election, maybe you can get a sense of uh, what we're talking about. INEC, in, in all of this, we've seen a breakdown uh, from the presentation of the president uh, to the National Assembly that uh, the DSS, the NSCDC, NSA, uh, will have their own kind of budget into this election. Uh, weighing on this one, uh, Ajijala, what are your thoughts on this one? Well, um, you know that, unfortunately, we find it very difficult to run elections without heavy security uh, involvement. You are witness to what we had in Nekiti State, where we had a combined security presence of over 50,000 personnel in all security agencies put together. So um, I'm not uh, surprised that um, there will be a relatively large budget for the security agencies considering the fact that um, 120,000 polling units are involved. So, um, well, of course, when you look at the budget, there are certain things that, you know, have been brought out, like, uh, you know, how much is going to be provided for food, for dogs and, uh, you know, police dogs and all that. But, but I think that um, generally we, that there would be a large budget for security because we find it and we haven't unfortunately reached the point where we can conduct elections without the support of Mr. the Jijala, security Let's allow uh, Chairman Aguegbo to wing on this one. Uh, uh, she's one of those who have been monitoring elections. Yeah, so, uh, Choma, with what are you saying, do you think INEC is uh, perhaps more prepared for the 2019 elections than we've seen in the past? I think that um, INEC is doing great. I think that, I mean, it's a bit of an oxymoron, but the fact that we're seeing new challenges as far as, you know, um, elections are concerned in Nigeria is testament to the fact that we're growing as a democracy. Our electoral processes and our electoral management um, are growing. Take the issue of vote buying, for instance. It's testament to the fact that politicians have found that they cannot normally, they can't stuff boxes, you know, they can't snatch boxes like they would normally do. And so they now go to the polling units, you know, they go to the polling booths to okay. get citizens to part, you know, um, to part with their, um, you know, with their votes for money. Um, so I think that INEC is ready. I, however, do not think that they're as ready as they can be. Take the, take the, uh, um, the sorry, issue uh, of their Chama, budget, let, let me pause it for well, a moment. I'll allow you to conclude that line of thoughts in a moment because we need to take this break. When we come back, we will talk about the agitation on the minds of some young Nigerians who believe that the old folks need to take a rest uh, in terms of the political practice in Nigeria. We'll find out why on the program. That's next on the program. Join us again.